Hello my friends, I'm Golden Boy Colleen and guess what? Mini Brands sent me another package and this time it's the Toy Mini Brands Series 3. Look at this beautiful box that's made to look like a toy shop. Isn't this cool? There are 12 capsules in here and you can get to them through the back door. Funny right? I already opened one for a short that's coming up soon and today we will open the rest of them. Alright, we're having a little bit of zipper issues here. But it's all good because I have this handy dandy tool. This is called Magic the Gathering and as you can see here on the back it's supposed to be a board game. What is this another board game? Kind of. This is a card game. It's called Exploding Kittens. Never heard about this. Sounds very interesting. So we got a heart shaped poppet. It actually works. I tried this one before. Pretty cool mini. And here we got the collector's guide. Uh, this is the Play-Doh Animal Crew. And I'm laughing because this horse looks really funny. The way it laughs like that. Just like with Series 4, Toy Mini Brand Series 3 also has the cash. And this is a stash of $20 bills. And then the last pod, we got the Robo Alive Dino Fossil Find. It's actually a really nice mini. I saw this in Walmart yesterday. It's actually pretty cool. It's big and I like this texture on the egg. Let me just arrange these here because when the camera focuses on my hands, these are kind of like out of the frame. Let's see. Okay, it's a little better. All right, here's another collector's guide. Another Play-Doh animal crew and this time we got Pigsley. And also here's a stash of $10 bills. This is Fluttershy from My Little Pony. Oh yes, uh, one of my favorite minis from the toy mini brands. This is the Tamagotchi and those of you that watch almost all my videos know that I like this one because I used to play with it as a kid quite a lot. Here's another board game type of thing. It's called Mousetrap. I have never played this as a kid, but I remember seeing the commercials for it. I hope I remember correctly. This game has been around for a while, right? And here's the Pixies Crystal Flyers. There's a little toy in there. For those of you who don't know, I made a short where I opened one of these. So go check it out if you want to find out how to open it and to see exactly how the mini inside looks. Oh wait, let me show you something real quick. Even though I'm not looking to complete this specific series, I might open more of them because, interestingly enough, there's a Bitcoin bag to be found. And some of you already know this, but it's one of the two minis that I'm looking for to complete my Series 4 collection. It's literally impossible to get, I haven't seen anyone pull it out, and you better believe that if I find it in the Toy Mini Brand Series 3, I will move it over to the Series 4. We got a duplicate of the Magic the Gathering board game. Here's the Cards Against Humanity everything box. It seems like we got a lot of cardboard boxes so far and I hope it's just a coincidence. This is a collector's guide. The Throw Throw Burrito game. Uh, even though it's in a cardboard box, it's a cool mini because as you can see there's the two little burritos in there. One of these days I'm gonna open this mini and pull those burritos out of there. And as usual in the same pod with the collector's guide we get a stash of cash. This time it's the five dollar bills. Here's Fluttershy from My Little Pony once again. Oh this is nice. In the last pod we got a fidget spinner. Okay, here's the collector's guide. Another heart-shaped poppet. This is a duplicate right now. And a stash of $10 bills. Here's a little monkey from the little pet shop. And I'm guessing this is a karaoke microphone. Yes, it's called the VTech Kitty Star Music Magic Microphone. Oh, so it's not quite karaoke. It's like modifies your voice and stuff. See, this is one of the things I love about mini brands compared to other miniature stuff. Everything looks so realistic, even though it's tiny. I mean, you can literally read on the box exactly what this thing does. And it's, I mean, look how tiny it is, you know? Yep. I thought this looks familiar. It's the Trivia Pursue board game. And let's see, is the Bitcoin bag in here? Nope. Just an accessory and from the looks of it, it's probably the safe. Hello Kitty 
bank oh like a piggy bank and it's a um paint your own that's pretty cool but it's still just a cardboard box there's another accessory i'm guessing this is the shelf the one that kind of you know moves around because it has wheels we're gonna put it nicely over here next to the safe right here's a packet of zero slime a collector's guide and a stack of five dollar bills i really really want that bitcoin bag nope not today this is the power rangers figure and i remember getting another one like this probably was the red one i forgot what the name of that one is and for some reason they look really detailed especially in the you know figures in box category of miniatures i don't know maybe it's another thing where they imposed stricter rules or something and here's a miniature that fooled me the first time i saw it because <laughs> It looks very realistic and you think that there's actually something inside it and in fact it's not. The things you see behind there are just a piece of printed paper but it's so detailed that it fooled me for a second. I'm sorry mini brands but this one will not unzip correctly because one part of the zipper is nicely perforated. The other one just has you know three little holes over there and then almost nothing. A few indentations I guess but yeah these are hard to open when they're not perforated correctly. Interestingly enough, the zipper underneath is perfect. Let me show you. See, I told you so. Come on, Jesus, did I just... These are really tight. I almost broke my nail there. Here's another Throw Throw Burrito game. A collector's guide and a stash of $10 bills. Here's Piggy, another action figure that looks really, really nice. There's another character that has a hat, I think, and the hat is actually in the package as well. Kind of want to open that one and see how it looks and if you can actually put the hat on top of the character. Another original Tamagotchi. And a Alice Adventures in Wonderland book. Let's see, can we read this one? Kind of. Almost. Whatever printers they have to make these so small and detailed, I want to know so I can make my own minis. Is anyone out there that has experience with printers that are really, really incredibly high resolution where you can print writing that's this small and still be kind of eligible? If you do, let me know in a comment or better yet, send me an email. I'm really interested to look a little bit more into that. And here's another safe because we have so much money that we need two of them. I actually do have quite a bit of mini brands money. It probably can fit in two, maybe even three safes. Do you want to know something interesting? If you are a fan of the little books that they introduce in this series, you better stock up because they won't be featured in any other series. This toy shop box came with a info card and amongst other things this is what they said about the mini books and i quote this is the only drop they will be featured in so yeah all right here's another piggy character is this a rare one don't tell me this is a rare one. So it's the kinetic sand and it almost looks like it could be opened. But before I try that, yep, it seems like it is a rare one. We got the number nine and it's a gold one. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. I thought we need to get that key and put it in there. I think I'm overcomplicating this mini. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's opening. Still, this is a really nice detail with the key here at the bottom, considering that it's hidden when it has that wrapper around it. I still have a feeling we might be able to get in there. All right, that's enough. I don't want to damage it too much because it's a gold one. And I like gold stuff. Here's another mousetrap game. Another accessory. This time it's the shopping basket. A collector's guide. This is the animal remote controlled truck thingy. It's actually a cool toy in real life. Very similar in concept with the eggs that, you know, you hatch them. Although this is a kind of like a scary version of that because it's a truck and it kind of like rips open the box and comes out like that. Yeah, one day I'm going to get one of those probably for my nephews. And let's not forget a stash of $20 bills. We 
We got Pigsley again from the Play-Doh Animal Crew, a collector's guide, and a stash of $50 bills. Okay, look what we have here. It's the Orbeez uh, container, I guess. <laughs> This is a pretty cool mini. It's the Bloom. I think I bought it up before in a different video where I opened these. Here's Cluedo, or Cluedo, the classic mystery game. And another Cars Against Humanity everything box. Right at the top, we got a stash of $100 bills, and then a collector's guide, and then once again, that weird looking horse with a creepy smile. Okay, more horses, I mean, this is a pony. Uh, this is a Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. Okay, this is our third Tamagotchi. Oh, this is a nice game. Sorry. The classic game of Sweet Revenge. Really nice game. Fortunately, it's just a cardboard box. Many brands, you know what would have been cool? If you made a piece from the Sorry game instead of, you know, the cardboard box. Or, you know, the cardboard box and a piece. And here's another Pixies Crystal Flyers. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it's so hard to get in because the Bitcoin bag is in there. I guess you never know. It might be. If it is, I'm, I'm ending the video right here because that's freaky. All right, here's Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. A Bakugan uh, Dragonoid. Okay, this is a Pets Alive. Chirpy birds. Look at it, it has golden feet. That's pretty cool. Well, it's not a Bitcoin bag, but it's pretty close. <laughs> this is a Bitcoin coin. Well, it's a Bitcoin. It has coin in the name. Very heavy, but not the Bitcoin bag that we're looking for. Transformers Cyberverse. Not bad, not bad, not bad. A collector's guide and a $20 stash of cash. This, my friends, is the last ball, but like I said, I will probably get more of these because I really, really want that Bitcoin bag. I don't think it's in here because this is not heavy. The Bitcoin bag, if I remember correctly, comes with five Bitcoins and one of those is pretty heavy. I'm guessing five of them will, will feel really heavy inside the, the ball, you know? Oh, come on. We got one of those characters I told you about a few minutes ago from Piggy that has the hat in there. Here's a close up. And yes, if you're wondering, one day I will pull it out of this package and try to see if the hat will fit on the head of this character. The fourth Tamagotchi of the day. Oh, well, this is a nice duplicate to have because like I said, uh, based on what they said, <laughs> this will not be part of any other series. It will only be part of Toy Mini Brand Series 3. So, yeah. Oh man. We started putting miniatures over here because I thought we're not going to get another one, but it seemed like I was wrong. Last pod. A collector's guide. We got, once again, the burrito game. Throw, throw, burrito. And a stash of $10 bills. And that was it. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video and staying all the way till the end. Big shout out and thank you to Mini Brands for sending me this package. I am really looking forward to getting another one once a new series is going to be released and I'm sure my viewers appreciate it greatly. So please continue sending these. And guys, show Mini Brands some love in the comment section. And if you agree with me, tell them that yes, they should continue sending me these so that I can show you guys firsthand what's inside the new mini brands releases as usual you guys stay golden including you mini brands and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye